If you're like me, your internet has fast download speeds, but loading web pages can be slow. But after changing this one setting on my home internet router, everything just flew. G'day, I'm Cam, and in this two minute tech tip, I'm gonna show you what setting to change, but also how to benchmark to get the best speed increase possible. Did you know the internet has a phone book? Instead of a list of names and numbers, it has a list of domain names and IP addresses. So when you type in a website into your browser, a lookup request is sent to find out what IP address that server lives at. Turns out the default lookup service set by your internet provider is generally slow. So how do we find a fast one? The internet phone book is actually called the domain name system. And here are a few public name servers you can use. OpenDNS, Cloudflare, and Google. To find out which one works fastest for me, I found this free DNS benchmarking tool by Steve Gibson. And it turns out my current internet provider is actually good at lookups in comparison to OpenDNS, Cloudflare, and Google. This hasn't always been the case. In the past, one of my internet providers blocked my LG TV from doing app updates because it flat out refused to tell it where the server was. And after I changed my DNS provider, all my issues went. And this has been the same for my friends, family, and neighbors that have helped with their slow loading patchy internet. So how do we change the setting? On the back of your router, you'll find an IP address or a website to type into your web browser. However, most modern routers simply have a phone app. I'll pin a comment below the like button with common issues in case you get stuck. Now that you've logged into your router's admin portal, look for network settings or advanced networking. It's typically here you'll find a text field to manually enter your chosen DNS server details. You can always try different ones or simply revert back to internet provider's default. If you live somewhere that has a shared network, say an apartment building, where you don't have access to the router settings, you can change them at a device base level on your phone or laptop, or pick up a travel router. These allow you to create a private personal network where you have full control over all settings. And with a flick of a switch, I can enable a network-wide VPN. I'll link a video up here on these Ripper units, as well as the VPN I personally use and pay for down below. If you liked this video, thumbs it. If you loved it, sub it, and I'll see you in the next one.